Hey, yo. Good morning. Yes, yes, yes. Curdy Cool is back on the scene once again, baby. Oh, yeah. Shout out to all you beautiful people out there who is tuning in to Curdy Cool, baby. Oh, yeah. I mean, waking up to another beautiful day here in H-Town, baby. Well, 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 what we got here? Let me tell you something. It's all about the beautiness of your heart and your life. How well you could be unique and beautiful and treat all people with love, dignity, and respect, y'all. I mean, to keep yourself looking healthy and well, y'all, you guys learn how to wake up with love, peace, and happiness, y'all. I'm telling you, it's a whole lot of people out here, y'all. They do so much wrong out here, and you can see God's wrath all over their face. And what I mean about that is that they do so much wrong out here, y'all. I mean, they are all broke down. I mean, they are so young, but they look so broke down. They do not look their age. They look old, old, just broke down, baby. When you don't take care of yourself, let me tell y'all something and let you something in on a little secret. What the old folks told me when I was a young buck coming up. You must learn how to treat all people with love, peace, and happiness, baby. From all the days of your life. Let me tell y'all something. For the people out here who is out here doing all this wrong, doing all this wrong for stuff out here to people, cutting people down, breaking people down, doing all this crazy stuff, destroying families and doing all that stuff. Don't you worry about a thing, baby, because all of those things are going to come back on those people. I mean, you just take one good look at them and do a comparison with a good quality living person and just take one good look at a person on the cool who you know who is doing all of that wrong out there in their life and look how they look all broke down so stressed out so worried God's wrath is all over them all over their face all over their entire life see you grow into this lifestyle and think that this life is all about you and all you do is nothing but wrong, 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 wrong. I'm telling you, that stuff comes right back around on you until it comes out through your skin, your eyes. I mean, I see people out here 50 years old, y'all. All this here hanging down here. All everything hanging, baby. Hanging. Just hanging. Their face look like they just got so much worried. I'm not here to talk about people for the heck of it. My tutorial here is, is that when folks do a whole lot of wrong out there in their life, that stuff comes back on you another way. And it's, it, and it's just something else. People be thinking that they are getting away with all this crazy stuff that they do to other people, their families, their kids, co-workers. I mean, but if you look at it, all this stuff comes back on you. I'm telling you, it comes back on you. And when I tell you all this stuff comes back on you that is just part of God's wrath that comes back on you 
for all those crazy things that you do out here to good people, the lifestyle that you live. I mean, don't you ever forget it and think that all the crazy things and all this stuff that you do to other people is not going to come back on you. Don't you think that whoever told you that is brainwashing you to set you up for failure and put a curse on your life? Because anytime you keep on misusing and abusing anybody or the system or out here doing all this crazy stuff, out here doing all this wrongful stuff, it is going to come back on you. Trust me. That's why I was taught a long time ago. Yeah. Treat all people with love and respect. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter who it is. I hear y'all. Treat all people right. I don't care where you're at, what you're doing. Make it a part of your everyday life. Don't be out here robbing, destroying stuff. Stealing, claiming something that is not yours as yours, and it's the way that you get it. I remember as a kid, my mother used to always talk to us, keep it real. This is what life is all about, keeping it real. Treat people the way you want to be treated. You know what I mean? Just as big as daylight. This world is not about mistreating people. It's not about hurting people. See, you live a good quality life and just look at how well your life blossom, how you look, how you take care of yourself because you do not have all of that stress all over your face all over your body with all that sick, sickness. When you do all that wrong, all you do is create a whole lot of sickness on you. It's part of God's wrath that come back on you. You reap what you sow. You know what I mean? You ever notice these people out here who is out here doing all this crazy stuff, y'all? All kind of stuff is happening to them every time you look around. All this happened, all that happened. But look at your lifestyle. You messed up that family. You did all that crazy stuff. You misused, you abused, you traumatized, you broke people down, you steal, you rob. You misused the system, you abused the system. And you feel like because of who you are that you can do anything. It don't work like that, baby. All the wrong that you do, it will come right back around on you. Take it from Curdy Cool, baby. Hey, y'all. Curdy Cool is out here, baby. Keeping it real, keeping it smooth. I'm glad I got a healthy life. And it's still not too late for folks out here to have a healthy, clean life. It's really all about how you live your life. Can you prove to yourself that you can live a healthy life from here on out treating folks right? It's people out here, y'all. I don't know. Something came to me to share this message. It's a whole lot of people out here, y'all. Somebody out here is running from themselves. Now, I don't know where they come from. Take a good look at yourself. Somebody is running from themselves, y'all. Somebody is running from a whole lot of terrible, crazy things that they are doing in their life, y'all. They are running and know that they are absolutely 100% wrong about all this crazy stuff that they're doing out here, y'all. 
but they just keep on running, yo. And that is why God's wrath keeps coming down on them every single time. See, you can keep running, you can keep hiding. But the wrath going to come back on you, baby, and nip you in the bud. Somebody is running and running and running and doing a whole lot of crazy things out here in the light. They want to take care of their responsibilities. They want to treat people right. They are thinking that this life, this world is all about them when it's not. They got life twisted. They mistreat everybody in the family, the kids, everybody. I mean, something told me to tell you, you need to get it together. You need to stop running. You, you need to stop letting that devil take over your life, your mind, your family, and totally destroy your life. You are already messed up if you let the devil take your mind and destroy your life and have you doing all kind of crazy things and you thinking deep down inside that you you are the shit when you are not when you got to hurt people and destroy folks lives and do all that crazy stuff that ain't about nothing baby that ain't about nothing you're not proving anything to nobody but you are a joke to the folks. <laughs> hey, y'all. Curry Cool is back on the scene. I, I mainly wanted to come on and say, I, I mean, something, something came to me to tell somebody out here who is listening to this video. Y'all need to stop running from yourself. Some people out here is running, y'all, running from reality, running from that crazy lifestyle, baby, running. They just running and running and running. Y'all need to stop running and come on back to the power of love, baby, peace and happiness. Come on back to what is right, what is pure, what is the way that it's meant to be. Y'all know what I mean? Y'all need to stop running, y'all. Y'all need to get strong with love, baby, and peace. Solid as a rock, baby. That's the way it needs to be, baby. Solid as a rock. Yeah. And pull it back together and stop all that craziness out here with all that messing up everybody, destroying everybody's lives just for a dollar bill. Yeah, that dollar bill is going to cause God's wrath to come down on you so hard one day because of your wicked ways. There's a whole lot of people out here got some terribly bad, wicked ways, y'all. They have been cursed a long time ago. Anytime you destroy your family, you got wicked ways. Now, the question is, what are you going to do to change those wicked ways? Wicked way, you cannot get along with your family. It's always a whole lot of problems. People can't communicate with you. Somebody asks you how you're doing, say something to you. You got a bad attitude, so sensitive, lost touch with reality. You out here can't get along with your family. What kind of mess is that, yo? There's a whole lot of people out here, yo. Who need to shake all of this stuff and just come on back to the real. Grow up in your little old mind. Stop being so sensitive about everything. Every little old thing. But let me tell y'all something. Some people out here, y'all, when they go through a whole lot in their life when they was kids. And they get traumatized so bad. That stuff follows you everywhere you go i mean you grow up but yet and still you got all this stuff that back flashes on you and come back on you and then you find yourself where it's hard to get along with people everything is a challenge and a competition 
somebody say one little thing just to say, hey, look, uh, saw something you said uh, or you did uh, to so-and-so. Oh, they get so upset. They get so angry. Hey, how you doing? I want to talk to you. I just want to say I'm sorry that uh, this happened the other day. I just want to apologize. I don't owe you nothing. I ain't got to say nothing to you. I don't need to hear that. I don't need. Let me tell y'all something. These kind of people need to grow up in their little old mind. I'm just going to keep it real, baby. Life is not about that. You grow up in your mind. That's 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 what, what I'm talking about. A lot of people out here, y'all, they just go all fly off at the mouth, y'all. They got no control. People just speak to you, say something. They angry and got an attitude, y'all. Got funny looks and funny ways and just thought all kind of confusion. Y'all know what I mean? It is not about that. The older you get should be the wiser you get. The smarter you get. The intelligent you supposed to be. You, you supposed to have a whole lot more wisdom. People say hurtful things to Curdy Cool, y'all. I mean, Curdy Cool is not gonna be angry and choppy choppy. What 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 what? You say that to me? What? No. Hey, uh, thanks. Oh, oh, you saw that? Okay. All right. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's something I kind of overlooked. God bless you. Peace and love, baby. I mean, that's the way Curdy Cool would, would do it. And if this person is totally out of control, you can't say nothing. Well, y'all just be like Curdy Cool, you know, put your cool little old shades on and just spin around. Hey, y'all, I'll let you later. I'll see you later, baby. I'll see you later. And just spin around and walk off. You know what I mean? Don't hang around arguing with these dysfunctional people. Anytime folks cannot talk to people, it's some kind of dysfunction within that person. If you can't function properly and you can't face your problem, your life situation, you, you are always angry and upset and always mad about what happened in the past. You need to put that dysfunction to the side, baby. And when Curdy Cool come around, Curdy Cool ain't going to deal with it. I'm just going to be smooth and cool. Hey, watch, watch, watch what you say. Because that person is going to be so dysfunctional. Any look, looking thing, any little thing is going to erupt. Y'all know what I mean? Y'all ever meet them kind of people? You say any little, little thing. Just like I, I was at, at the gym the other day, I was working out. Another older guy got on the bench press, started bench pressing, and he just started yapping. I mean, I got all these these tender girls. I um, mean, I mean, I'm working out every day. I'm looking good in my body. I mean, I got so many young girls. I got so many dates. Oh, I got this. I mean, just bragging. I'm looking at to this guy. Understand? Looking at his age. That is not what life is all about. How many girls you can get down with. You know what I mean? Oh, I got this one. Oh, I got that one. Just went on. I got about four, five, six, seven, eight girls, y'all. I got them like in one big old parade, y'all. Oh, I'm just letting my hair down, baby. And I'm just doing my thing. And uh, what do you think about that, bro? And I say, he said, you seem like a good looking brother who can get any, any woman you want. I say, of course you're right about that. But let me, let me tell you something. I said, I was watching the news the other day. And they said, right there on the news, y'all. They said, so don't nobody be mad at Curdy Cool. They said a 
a whole lot of these young women are packing this syphilis. And when I said that, the old guy just jumped back. Oh, I just had four or five of these young girls. What, what, where, where did you hear this from? I said, I just turned on the television last night, and they were saying a whole lot of these young girls are packing this syphilis, and now they are getting pregnant, and they are not catching this stuff in time until until it is messing up the babies now, y'all. Now they begin to have some kind of problem. I said, this, for an older guy like you and me, I'm only speaking the truth out here so don't nobody be upset, but you guys should have lived that life. Why would you wait until you are, what, Late 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Just to, to still be talking about all these women that you are get, getting down with. You are really jeopardizing your life, your health. It's not about that. So I, so I was explaining that. I only saw this on the news. And they were talking about. A lot of you guys out here, y'all be careful. It was like it was a warning for these guys out here to be careful because a lot of these young women are carriers of the syphilis. And they said it it, it has really gotten bad. Y'all be thinking this stuff is is all fun out here. But this stuff is messing up a whole lot of people. And it's a whole lot of young ladies out here who is not catching this stuff in time. And it is really, truly messing these young ladies up. And they are getting pregnant, messing up the babies. You know what I mean? So, now I shared this stuff. So that uh, the, the the old guy next who was work, working out, hey, got no. He, I mean, he he just got a, a attitude. I didn't. I did not point the finger at him. I just shared what I saw on the news. I ain't got no syphilis. I ain't got no syphilis. I ain't got no syphilis. So Curtis Cool, I just said to myself, now he came into my space. Bragging about all these young girls that he is doing. Like he thought that was the way of life. And I simply said, I saw the news last night. But besides, I don't do that. Even though I look the way I look, I work out. I can walk in anywhere out of young girls could look at Curdy Cool. But I'm not trying to do all that, baby. Because I know what the consequences is I hear when you start dipping and dabbing and doing all this different stuff, what could happen? I'm into health and wealth and taking care of myself, being with peace and love and happiness, yo. So this guy, he kind of like took it the wrong way. I ain't got no syphilis. I didn't say he had no syphilis, but the way he was looking like he had something. <laughs> so anyway, Curry Cool, I just kind of like, I just kind of like just just zip, just continue on working out. And it seemed like he he had got kind of tense. So Curry Cool, I just I just I, I just said to myself, it's time for me to put on my little cool smooth ray and just kind of smoothly and just coolly just just kind of easily walk away <laughs> because I see you know what I mean you can tell when people is about to go off or they got a whole lot of drama or been traumatized somewhere in their life they cannot manage their life y'all any little thing just irritate them y'all and they just you know what I mean so I just kind of cool and smoothly 
got my last little workout. And then I put the heavy weight. I mean, all of a sudden, you see me, I put 400 pounds on the bench press. Woo, woo. You know, he looking like, God damn, that, that brother is strong, boy. God damn. I barely can't lift 200 pounds. That brother, I mean, he doing 400 pounds, you know, 450. I said, it's just a mind thing, you know? Just a mind thing. All in your mind is the power within yourself. That's what, it's, that's what it is with Cool. I put it in my mind. I said, I want to get a little taste of 450, baby. Curdy Cool going to get 450, baby. It don't look like it, but I can I can pick up a damn Volkswagen if I want to. <laughs> So y'all don't want to run up on Curdy Cool now. <laughs> y'all do not want to run up on Curdy Cool, baby. So anyway, my thing is this. You say what you got to say, and you learn to be with peace, love, and happiness. No matter what folks say I hear, just ignore that baloney. Why would you blow up because a person said, Hey, how you doing? I, I need to talk to you. Why would you blow all up? I mean, when you are a mature man or a mature woman, I mean, hey, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm great. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, just be with love, you know. Let your little love, your light shine wherever you go. You know what I mean? Don't have it where folks got to be, you know, Hesitant about to say anything to you. About to, uh, you know, hesitate to say, hey, how you doing? You know, if your family telling you that you are messing up in your life, what you are doing out here to that father, and it's got people like Patricia Robinson, y'all, just mess the baby mother up, mess my daughter up. Now, I know it's people out there in that home telling that crazy woman about herself. Yeah, you are wrong for the way you did that father out there. And you are running and hiding out there like a coward. But she will not come back to the real. See, it's people like that. See what I'm saying? They keep on playing that game. But they are only playing on themselves because in the long run, the wrath will come back on those crazy, stupid people because they are the ones got the traumatized, messed up mentality or they carry this stuff around everywhere they go. If you got to carry this kind of lifestyle around everywhere you go and mess up with people, and folks can't tell you about their own kids. Hey, look, you know, my baby is in that home. My my daughter is in that home. You, you are not letting her say hello to her dad. You are not letting her dad check on her and see how she's doing. Like, like for instance, my, my, my true story. That crazy Patricia Robinson will not let my daughter have no kind of contact. She is not hurting me. See, narcissists gets off thinking that they are hurting you because they running hide up. They do all these crazy things for a reason. Now, you got a, a old saggy baggy Patricia Robinson who hide out with Curtis Cool's daughter. Now, this woman thinks that she is breaking me down but hiding out my daughter away from me. You could never break Curdy Cool down because I know where my blessings come from. And I know that God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. So how would I let a saggy baggy ugly woman break me down? I might be out here talking about my true story, but this crazy woman think that she have the upper hand. I got his kid. I run and hide out. I messed up the baby mother. 
I got his daughter, I turned her against him. Well, just think about it. You are only setting yourself up for failure because God's wrath will follow you everywhere you go. I mean, you cannot mess up Curdy Cool because I am a child of the king, baby. No weapon form against Curdy Cool will prosper. When people is out here doing all this crazy stuff, y'all, feeling like because they have something that belongs to you and they are running and hiding out with it and destroying these people and turning them against you and then looking like a big coward fool running and hiding out, that shows nothing but you are set in your traumatized, ignorant ways what happened to you long time ago and you can't snap out of it. So it shows who you really truly are. See, you never changed. You was this way long time ago. Misusing, abusing folks, taking something that does not belong to you, running and hiding. Everything you do out here, you run and hide, you destroy it, you mess it up, you run out like a coward. Hey, y'all. I had to add my true story in here as well. There's people out here, y'all, who will not come back to the real, y'all. You just got to see these crazy-ass people for who they are, y'all. And don't worry about it. Just like I was saying about that guy at the gym. Now, now you come to me telling me all this stuff. I'm, I'm doing me on the gym working out, baby. And I share my input about the news. He shocked. Hey, you got no shit. And so people can dish out what they want to do or say to you. But when you like just move and cool and say what you feel, they can't take it. Just like that Patricia Robinson. She cannot take it because I am exposing that raggedy woman with that raggedy lifestyle. And I keep on telling her she created all this stuff in the hospital, fraud at the baby's birth certificate, made fake false claims. I simply caught her with her big mama draws down, baby. And I keep on exposing that big raggedy lifestyle with that Patricia Robinson. Y'all check out my true story, my podcast, my true story. I am talking about that crazy Patricia Robinson, y'all, that crazy family, how they did Curdy Cool. Like I said, no weapon form against Curdy Cool shall prosper because I know I am a child of the king, baby. I know I have did nobody wrong out here, baby. I know that I stood up for what is right out here, baby. I know that I live a good life within my whole life and I am not traumatized and I hear misusing and abusing people, messing people's lives up like a Patricia Robinson style out here spamming and scamming. Mess that baby mother up, y'all, just to steal our kid. But my daughter, she see both of these people for who they are. I know she love her mother, but she see you for exactly who you are. Now you say you're crazy. You got to be crazy to take me away from my own father, my own dad. My dad who was talking to me inside of the womb. You got to be crazy. My dad was depositing depositors up your rectum during the second month trimester when you couldn't deal with the pain. My dad would love depositing depositors up this baby mother's rectum to help save her and our beautiful daughter. And this is what Curdy Cool gets in the end. But you, but you see, this is the thing. Now they run and hide out. But God knows all things. Y'all know what I mean? No weapon form against you shall prosper. If I was Alex, I would really ask them, what is your problem? 
Why are y'all treating me and my dad like this? I can see I have a genuine, loving, cool dad. Huh? I would ask him, well, what, what is your problem? If I have to get, you know, educated and you put my little old smooth glasses on. I want to ask you something. What is what is what is the problem around here? Why y'all can't get along? Why y'all can't snap out of that? Mama, why you why you got so much animosity toward my dad? My dad didn't do anything to you. Do you think back? My dad deposit depositories up your rectum the second month? Do crazy old grandma understand that my dad was at the hospital supporting me? Had me smiling, had me laughing. And crazy ass grandma, whoever she is, <laughs> bust up in the hospital room, y'all, with a fish ball up to her, put it, baby, put it, put it, baby, yay, yay. And my dad told her to get her right ass out the hospital. <laughs> Hey y'all, that would be something else, y'all, if, if I if my daughter told that woman off. I'm serious. Now that baby mother, I don't know what to say about that baby mother, y'all. You out here, if something was wrong with that baby mother, I'm talking about that baby mother. Patricia Robinson out there trafficking that grown ass woman at 21 years old now. Y'all check it out. You trafficking this grown ass woman. You got her into relationships. She started coming around Curdy Cool. It, it was nothing wrong with that woman. She saw me what I was all about, y'all. Ooh, I want to act. She was so intelligent, y'all. I want to act. I mean, she did have a nice look. She said she wanted to act. And I said, well, you know, I got experience. I can teach you the basics. What you need to do when you go to auditions. Get you prepared for a talent agency. So I helped her along the way, y'all. And so now she had, had to get some uh, headshots. I broke it down to her. Well, this is what you were going to need. I will be happy to help you get an actor's resume. I can put that together for you as well and present it to the to the talent agency out here in Palm Springs. And so I said, yes, that'll be fine. She was very intelligent. That would be fine. I do want to add, um, set it up so that I can get headshots and resumes and, and get prepared because I, I i would love to uh, go out on a cast and be in a movie and, and who knows how far i could go so i help her put it all together y'all got her resume i'm talking about a professional a actor resume so i call up the talent agency I said, I would like to set up an appointment if that's okay with you. I, I, I have some fresh new talent I would like to bring in. I think would be a great fit for the market I hear. And would you have the time to see us today? She said, how about next week? Such and such time. So I put it all together. Yeah. Bring this woman in, you know, head her right. She was talking real nice and professional. And what is your name, such and such? What inspired you to want it, to want to be an actress? Well, it's something I always wanted to do. I feel that I have a gift or talent to act. And I just wanted to bring it to the table. I don't know if she was listening to me, y'all. Just, just listening to me because I, 
I, I, I, I deliver it to people to keep a positive attitude. You know what I mean? I mean, just look straight forward and have a nice smile, you know? And just be real and realistic about what you got to say, you know? And stay in the moment, you know? If, if, if the agency is asking you questions, just simply explain to them with a smile, you know? Man, hey, this is something I always wanted to do, you know? I, I love acting, you know? I mean, I could bring it to life and I could bring the character to life and I could stay in the moment. If you want me serious, I could be serious. If you want me smiling, I can be smiling. If you want me mysterious, I can be mysterious. You know what I mean? So I was able to help put it all together. And the agency said, okay, okay. I would like to sign her. She do have a nice look. I would like to sign her. So let's let's get her all set up. But see, here's the thing here, y'all. What I'm saying is, these people forgot about all those nice things that Curly Cool did out here, y'all. All those nice things. Now, you know the thing that really got Curly Cool in this baby mama drama thing? Okay, so she comes up pregnant. So my agency was just getting ready to send that baby mama out on a big cast. And so she called me up. I said, Cindy Remodel, that was her name out there in Palm Springs. Cindy Remodel Talent Agency. She said, I got a big cast, you know, for, for you and your girlfriend to go out on. I think would be a great fit. So I said, okay, well, I said, well, oh, on that note, I got some things I got to got to talk to you about. That baby mother, she is not going to be able to make it. Simple fact that she come up pregnant. And on top of it, she is in her second trimester. And it's really going to be a problem very difficult right now she was so disappointed but she messed around and got pregnant and now when things was just getting ready to get kicked off now the casting is asking about her so she blew it by getting pregnant y'all but anyway I kept a positive mind I said well Cindy look at it on a positive note after she had the baby, maybe you can put her in a, uh, put the baby in a pamphlet commercial. So yeah, yes, I, I'll, I'll keep that in mind, uh, Curtis. I think you are a very nice, intelligent man. I can tell that you are not from here in California. You have a lot of a talent, a lot of pride about yourself. You're very serious about the business. And you, you are real. I can see it in your skin, your eyes, your personality, the way you act, the way you talk. You are a genuine person. But a whole lot of people out here in Cali is fake. She said it just like that, you know. Well, it is what it is. So anyway, time went on, y'all. Girl had a baby. Call the talent agency up. It is a girl. She said, well, maybe I can put her into uh, the baby commercial. She said, the baby, a newborn baby? Matter of fact, I got some castings who is asking about a beautiful baby girl to be in a pamphlet commercial. I said, oh, yeah, yeah. So now, y'all, I mean, right after that, y'all, that crazy ass Patricia Robinson just bust into the hospital. I was up in the hospital room taking care of my responsibilities, y'all. 
getting all this stuff together, just singing to my baby. And that's when Patricia Robinson busts into the hospital room, her and that crazy Amanda Rose Lee, both of them had the fist balled up, talking about they gonna whip my ass and security had to throw both of them out of the hospital room. Yeah. Um, man. Now the agency already told me we are going to use your baby in a pamphlet commercial. Now, she could have been a star at a baby. I mean, them narcissists, y'all, what I'm trying to get you guys to see, narcissist people destroys everything they touch. They destroy people's lives, y'all, and they don't stop. As long as you are around these narcissist people, they do nothing but destroy your life. You know what I mean? And they don't stop. They get a kick off of destroying other people's lives, especially when they think that they are the ones who are in control. So now this crazy woman thinking that she got me all messed up. But like I said before, I got educated. I know what's going on out here. And I don't worry about this crazy woman, yo. With that raggedy lifestyle. I do not worry about that. I got peace and love when I lay down at night. You don't see me looking all bad in the face and looking all messed up, y'all, behind a crazy ass adopted grandma or narcissist grandma, y'all. These narcissist grandmas out here, y'all, has got to learn and has got to get a grip of themselves, y'all, and grow up in their old mind, baby. You know, this is a new day. You can't continue on living them old days lifestyle of what happened to you. Now, you get in and get some counseling. Pull yourself together before you can turn around and destroy the next generation. Because it shows when these people grow up and they are lost in their little mind. And they're all messed up. They can't keep a boyfriend or can't keep a man. They can't cook. They can't sew. They can't wash dishes. They can't wash clothes. But yet and still you the grandma. Who is out here? Well, well, this is mine, 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 mine. But you don't teach these people jack shit. I'm just going to keep it real. Now, when that baby mother came to my house, Patricia Robinson had that woman into a relationship. She did not teach this grown-ass woman how to cook. She did not teach this grown-ass woman how to properly take a bath. She didn't teach her how to properly dress and wear clothes. I mean, sometimes, you know, we would go places, y'all. She would have have her clothes on, y'all. And and, and and her pants to be hanging way down, y'all. You can see, you can see all down in her pants. Like, what, what? What kind of style is that? What you call that? I never seen that one. Oh, 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 that's what we wear it out here. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You, you would never catch me with my pants all the way down. You can see half of me. <laughs> Man, that is crazy, y'all. So this grandma didn't teach this baby mama jack shit. I'm just going to keep it real. You out here bumping your, your gums, destroying everything, but you don't teach nobody nothing because it's all about you getting a chick. So Patricia Robinson screws it all up, y'all. She don't teach them nothing because it's a reason why she does it like that. That is to keep them in bondage. And she is the one who want to be in control over these people at all times. You know what I mean? When people do you like that, they don't teach you jack shit. All they want is control over you. It don't matter how old you are. You 
are still dependent on this crazy grandma. I just seen young ladies. I'm talking about 20, 25 years old, still talking like little babies. <laughs> talking like little babies, yo. Raised by the grandmas. They didn't teach them jack shit but to act like a little baby. Never grow up in their little old mind. Yeah, I don't know if I, if I, if, if I should, should, should do this. I, I don't know. I, or I have a, 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 a young man interested in me who say, 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 they say, 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 they want to. Uh, take me uh, 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 to the uh, 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 ball, but but I don't know how my mother, my 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 grandmother is going to act. Eh. Like, what kind of shit is that? Grown ass woman, 25, 27 years old, cannot speak up for herself. Hey, is this all grandma do? Is teach you how to depend on them? They don't teach you how to be independent, rise above all that BS, that BS grandma lifestyle. Come on back to the real. I'm telling you something. These grandmas out here who destroy all these people's lives out here. Okay, so now my daughter, let's say, is lacking a real true blood father. The baby mother is lacking a real true blood father. These people do not have the love of a real true blood father. So they don't know they don't know the true meaning of having a real true blood father. Their life is based around a crazy grandma. So when a decent father is involved, this grandma Trisha Robinson couldn't deal with it because she was lacking a father. Y'all see to me? Y'all see how they pass this stuff on? So this stuff messes up the next generation until they feel like they can't function properly because there is no father figure inside of the home or vice versa. To. You got you got kids. Say you the one, the father is the one who got the kids. And the mother is not seeing her kids. Well now, those kids do not have the mother. The re, does not have the mothery figure inside of that home. Y'all see what I'm saying? That mothery figure is missing. So that is why it is so important. Both parents, y'all. But I could not deal with that crazy ass Patricia Robinson, y'all. That is one crazy ass adopted grandma, y'all. She destroyed it all. And uh, I tell you, that woman got a lot to pay for. What you dish out, we'll come back around on you. Just keep on doing all that crazy stuff. But it's all right with Curdy Cool. Anyway, I, I am going to end this show. Y'all be good in the neighborhood. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful night. Y'all stay good. Curdy, Curdy. That is Curdy Cool. But I am going to keep on putting that right ass Trisha Robinson in the spotlight, baby. That's right. That's what you are. Raggedy, raggedy, raggedy. Okay, bye. Subscribe, like, hit the bell. Okay, bye.